Some of the most dangerous fish in the world are piranhas. They are small in size, but their many sharp teeth inspire fear. How do piranhas work with their teeth and jaws? How fast can they finish off their prey? And how dangerous are they really? Let's find it out. In this episode, I will show you what happens if you throw a live crucian carp to wild piranhas, as well as to tell you interesting and unexpected facts about these South American toothy creatures. Let's go! What if you throw a live crucian carp to piranhas? According to an online etymological dictionary, the original name of the piranha was Pyrenea or biting fish, as it was called by the aborigines of the indigenous Tupi people living in the territory of modern Brazil. And indeed, everyone knows that these fish have sharp teeth and the ability to easily kill their prey. But have you ever seen how the hunting process takes place? If not, the following footage will amaze you. A blogger decided to conduct an experiment. He decided to throw a live Crucian carp into a tank with piranhas. The author wanted to show how dangerous these hungry fish can be. As soon as the Crucian carp appeared in the aquarium, the pursuit began. At first, the piranhas simply chased the fish, not giving it a free space. Then, after a while, the school of fish went into the offensive and started biting off the scales little by little. Obviously, the Crucian carp had no chance against the school of piranhas. Little by little, the fish began to nibble their prey, and after a while, there was no tail left of it. Well, this is the law of nature, survival of the fittest. Fish is an important source of food for many piranhas, but it's worth noting that the victim of piranhas does not always die. Opportunistic piranhas make do with the fin or scales of those that escaped, and some species specialize in eating scales having adapted to eat mostly scales of other fish. Scale eating, also known as lepidophagy, has evolved independently in several fish lineages. It is reported to be more common among young piranhas, although some species remain focused on scales as adults, often using special hunting techniques. The wimple piranha, for example, uses an open-mouth ramming attack, biting on impact to remove scales with its teeth while knocking them out with the force of its collision. What happens if you fall into a piranha pool? If we were to conduct a survey of which fish are the most dangerous on Earth, the piranha would probably be among the winners. Despite the rather small size of the fish itself, in a matter of minutes, a school of piranhas will leave only a skeleton from a person caught in the water. At least, that is what happens in various horror movies and horror books. But is it really so? Is piranha really an extremely aggressive creature which attacks everything that moves in water? It may sound unexpected, but piranha is a very cautious fish and poses almost no danger to humans. There are many testimonies when a person swam in piranha-infested water without any harm to their health. This was fully demonstrated by Herbert Exeldorf, the famous biologist who specialized in the study of tropical fish. To prove the safety of piranhas for humans, Herbert filled a small pool with piranhas and dove into it, having only his swimming trunks on. After swimming for some time among the predatory fish and suffering no harm to his health, Herbert took the fresh, blood-soaked meat in his hand and continued to swim with it. Several dozen of the piranhas in the pool still didn't approach the man, although not long ago they gladly ate the same meat when no one was in the pool. Piranhas, considered fearsome predators with gluttony for fresh flesh, are in fact quite timid fish that do not dare to approach large creatures. It's known that piranhas prefer to stay in large schools, and if you see one piranha in the water, others are sure to be present nearby. But piranhas do this not because it's easier for a school of predatory fish to kill and eat their prey, but because piranhas themselves are a link in the food chain for other larger fish species. It makes sense because if a fish is in a school of dozens of individuals, the chance that it will be eaten is reduced. Moreover, experiments with piranhas have shown that when they are alone, these fish do not feel as calm as they would if they were surrounded by other fish. But despite their peaceful behavior towards humans, piranhas are real fear machines for other fish species that stand below them on the food chain. Their powerful jaws are designed to bite and tear, and their dense muscular bodies are capable of incredibly fast movements underwater. It is believed that piranhas have the highest compression force of their jaw muscles relative to their body size compared to any other animal in the world. An ordinary piranha can even bite off an adult's finger. 
so still these fish are not that safe for humans. Nevertheless, not a single credible case of piranha attacks on humans with a fatal outcome has been recorded in history. Despite the stereotype of bloodthirsty predators, piranhas are classified as omnivores because most species eat at least some plant material and some may even be vegetarians. The red piranha, for example, is widely known as a ferocious predator, but it's actually an omnivorous gatherer and scavenger, eating fish, insects, crustaceans, snails, and plants. The fact that piranhas are dangerous predators with sharp teeth was known to all of you. Now you've seen that piranhas are at least not very dangerous to humans and that pop culture has greatly exaggerated their abilities. That's not all there is to say about piranhas. Did you know, for example, that they can caw and make rumbling noises? Stay tuned to hear the voice of piranhas and learn even more interesting facts about these unusual fish. Piranhas make sounds. Some piranhas make noises when handled. Red piranhas, for example, <laughs> caw in the hands of fishermen who catch them. Little was known about these sounds until recently when researchers discovered that piranhas can make three different sounds, each for different situations. As part of the work, scientists recorded sounds in the aquarium where the fish were kept. As it turned out, the fish make noise mostly during confrontations and remain silent at other times. Scientists were also able to identify a set of sounds that fish use to communicate. For example, during fights over food, they made a low sound similar to the beat of a drum. During other confrontations, for example, when one fish swam too close to the other, the piranhas would caw. Researchers suspect this is a sign of a more aggressive mood. Scientists have also been able to determine the mechanism behind the sounds. A key role in their formation is played by the air bladder, which the fish's muscles make sharply contract. As shown by computer modeling, the type of sound is determined by the speed and strength of muscle contraction and stops when they relax. Thus, piranhas have full control over their own voice. Caw and humming are produced by the piranha's air bladder, and the third sound is produced by the grinding of teeth during the chase. Piranha Jaws Let's take another look at the teeth of piranhas. Although piranhas are not the vicious monsters portrayed in the movies, they are very strong biters for their size. According to a 2012 study, one of the largest modern species, the red-eye piranha, has a bite force of 320 newtons. The author of the study wrote that this is the strongest bite force recorded to date in fish relative to their own size, oh, wow. noting that it's nearly three times the bite force of a similar-sized American alligator. In addition, the jaws of these river predators are very unusually designed. When they slam shut, the sharp diamond-shaped upper and lower teeth close completely, leaving no gap. This allows piranhas to literally cut a piece of flesh out of their prey's body effortlessly. The Benefits of Piranhas Piranhas are not top predators that we imagine them to be, but they still play a valuable role in their natural ecosystem as meso-predators, scavengers, and prey. They're widely distributed over a large area of South America, giving them broad ecological influence. By actively hunting and scavenging in their habitat, piranhas help shape the local distribution and composition of fish as well as other wildlife. And because they're relatively small, they're also an important food source for other animals, such as herons and cormorants. <laughs> That's all, guys. Would you risk swimming with piranhas in the same pool? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you later.